guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, a better note today after our last video with, um, you know, the unfortunate slug stuff. Um, so, yeah, Mama's doing actually really well at the moment. She has actually taken a meal. Uh, so she's rebounding really quick. I mean, she took a meal literally the day after she laid the seven slugs. We've decided, just as a note, not to include that clutch as part of our average for this year. And the reason for that is where it was a mistake we made personally, um, I decided not to, simply because it just messes with our like fertility rate and it's not actually anything to do with the animals, it was to do with our mistake. But, leaving that aside, better know. Um, I, I posted a sneak peek this morning on, on um, Instagram and Facebook um, of this lovely girl who is currently wrapped around what looks to be a good clutch of eggs. And we're actually gonna take her out of the rack completely so we can actually see what mama's done. Now I have been very good, a very good boy and I haven't peeked in there. Um, so I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna get some egg boxes from our incubator. And we've actually got the boxes pre-prepared and I'm gonna take two being wishful, hoping that there are more than six eggs in this clutch. I don't know, she is a, in terms of actual size, she's a smaller girl. And actually this one, this one looks a bit scarce um, on substrate, so I'm just gonna grab another one, just to be happy. So, two boxes. And um, we're gonna see what mama has got to offer. How are you doing, mum? We good? Yes, I know. So Ralph, I can have your eggs. We've got Jay here today. I'm not having to do this solo, so I'm gonna remember to grab the tail. There you are. Unhook her. Unhook her. There you go, mum. Let's have a look at this beautiful clutch of yours. Oh, Nelly. Yeah, that's, like that. that's that's the clutches we know and love. Um, like the rest of the clutches. So we've got what? Two, four, six, seven eggs. Seven eggs, I'll take any day. I'll take five eggs, I'll take three eggs. I'll take whatever number of eggs mama's decide to give me, as long as two things. They're good eggs and that mama's doing well. And let's just have a look, just to make absolutely sure she is empty. Yep, so she's not our biggest female. She's a nice female. And you can see she's just laid. And obviously you get that concave shape. They actually, that's an evolutionary thing to cradle the eggs. Um, but you can see mama's not looking very thin. She's not looking worn out. She's looking nice and good. Hopefully like her, not direct sister, but sister next door. Um, her sister mother, if you will. She will get onto food really quickly for us. Oh, these eggs aren't even stuck together uh, for some reason. She's done her, my work for me. They're all loose. There you go. These two. Don't bite me, Mama. I'm only. I know I'm taking your eggs, but I'm doing you a favour, lovely. You're gonna get back on food for us. You're gonna do really well. It's all right. There you go. And we'll take our last three eggs. I'll just pop them here. I'll get Mama back, and then we'll give her. In a moment, we'll give her a nice little bath. Wash out her box for a substrate. You know the usual. So we're looking at seven beautiful pearly whites. Good sized eggs. Um, Listen, I pray for one, just one firefly pie. That's all I ask for, please. Odds, gods, um, male, preferably. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, we're going on about pies and I haven't even explained the pairing. So the mum is a pastel head pied. Uh, lovely lady is a pastel head pied, as you saw in the video. The dad is actually a, he's breeding at the moment. He is a, here's this boy. He is a fire head pied. He's also a stunning boy. Just thought I'd, Put that in so we can see the pairing because I forgot I was so excited. Let's go on with the video. I'll take any female pides because we need to build our army of pides. Uh, we have a lot of heads, but my hope for this year is to produce a nice number of female visuals that we can raise up um, to join the crew, if you will. So what I'm actually gonna do before I bury these eggs is I'm gonna flick out the light and we're gonna candle them to make sure everyone's in a good orientation before we then finish and put them away. So I'll be back with you in a second. Right, so we're back in the dark. We're at least as dark as we can get on such a lovely sunny day. And we're gonna take a look at what's inside. So we're gonna, oh, oh, this one's on its, literally upside down. And that is absolutely outstandingly beautiful. Oh, beautiful veins. And you can see the embryo right here. I'm gonna disturb it too much. So that one's gonna get buried. And we're gonna tidy her away. Then we look at the second one, again, on its side. <laughs> Mama didn't have um, very good success with the, Get this clutch together. But again, really, you can see it right there, really, really healthy veins. Another amazingly healthy egg. That's all we could ask for. Um, what about this one? 
again on its side. Mama had some real rocking in there. And I can see the eye. Can you see the eye of the embryo? Oh, I've kind of moved the embryo. Oh, 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 oh. I could see the eye of the embryo for just a second there. You can actually see its little black eye. Again, fantastically healthy veins. And again on the side. Um, there we are, right there. Looks like the eye. The eye we look for. So we'll have you in there and we'll tidy you away. There we are. And that's the first box done. There we go. Oh. Another one, literally upside down. And there's the embryo. And you can see she actually laid it like that. You can see where it was sitting on the substrate, but the embryo is actually right here. So I did mention in uh, an older video, pump that up a little bit, that she, um, that actually there was a paper written where they researched how uh, the orientation of an egg affects the embryo. And oh, there we are. Lovely, healthy veins in this one as well. And actually they found that, um, again, I'm gonna reiterate it, that the, orientation of the eggs doesn't actually matter. Um, and they did do a load of study in orientation, but we like to play it safe. Why mess with it? There we go. And this is the only one that was in the correct orientation. I think it was the one right on top, if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. Pump that up. Um, there we go. They're a little bit on the deflated side, but they have been in there for, well, I, I noticed she'd laid something this morning. I wasn't sure if she'd finished. So I just thought I'd give her a couple of hours and wait for Jay to come home so I wouldn't have to do this on my own. So we'll get pop these into the incubator. Um, I'm gonna have to print another couple stickers for the front. There we go. Um, so that's seven good eggs. And I will just, oh, sorry guys, the, the blood keeps falling out. You hold the clutch of eggs. I'll find the switch. Kapow, there we go. So, Seven lovely pearly whites. And these are the way. These are um, boxes that we're preparing. So all the boxes down here, by the way, are just prepared and ready for the next. So I'll print out some stickers, uh, some labels to actually stick on the front of these, uh, so we know what's on there. And by the way, this is a new idea we came up with. This is actually uh, like a weird mold. Is it a moldable plastic? It's like they sell it. Um, I'll have, to, I'll have to show it off at some point or how we do these, but these are really good because they're like really moldable when it's, um, it's like a bit better than blue tech, but it dries as hard plastic. So they usually sell this to repair like knife handles and all sorts of like table legs, madness. So we just thought we'd use that and it actually has worked out really well. Non-toxic, all good. Um, what I'm actually gonna do so I can put these in a nice position. There, lovely, lovely, lovely clutch. What we'd like to see. So. Fingers crossed for some Firefly Pieds, Firefly and Pied. It'll be our first visual Pied. I've made an actual decision, I think we both have, to never buy or try not to buy uh, certain recessives because I don't want, I, I want to make, it's, I think it's the joy of making them rather than buying them. And uh, so Lucy's clutch will be due pretty soon. Uh, it says due on the 17th of the 6th. Where are we now? We're about what, just under four weeks away? So hopefully in the next three and a half, four weeks-ish, um, they will start pipping and we'll have another clutch to cut. Uh, Hetero Xantix clutch is doing really, really well. I think our next girl to lay, uh, as per pre-lay shed, I mean, someone may surprise us. There's a couple girls that I'm pretty sure they've ovulated but haven't seen an ovulation. So there's a possibility they could um, breed, well, lay sooner. Uh, the next clutch is Super Enchi, which is due if 30 days after pre-lay, she is due on the 13th of next month. So we've got a little bit of a wait, but we will get there. And I think very soon after Super Enchi, the rest of the girls are very gonna be close in close succession. So we're gonna hit that part of the season where it's eggs, 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 and they'll be all happy. But anyways, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that video. Another short one, a uh, new oh, clutch. One minute. Oh, oh yes, we had post. Our first post, and it was addressed to MJ's Pythons. And I said, I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna open it on the video because I want to find out what it is that we've been sent. Take a look. Damn. So, uh, little note. Uh, hi, uh, hi Marvin J. Hope you guys are well. Thank you for the support. Kelly and George at KG Royals. Listen, guys, thank you so much for these stickers. We're, we're getting some out to you, believe me. They're amazing. And 
massive shout out to KG Royals, guys. If you haven't checked their stuff out, Instagram, I'll leave all their description in the, um, the little bio underneath. So go open it up, click on their stuff. Uh, but they have a YouTube channel, they're on Instagram. Not, I'm sure they're on Facebook because I've seen them on Facebook, but I'll put all their descriptions down in the details below. Thank you so much, um, Kelly and George, for these stickers. And we have an idea for these, actually. We talked about this recently, didn't we? So if we turn around, the actual plan is we have our big, um, <laughs> you gotta step back, our big MJ's banner in the center. And we were gonna stick these um, around, but we don't wanna stick them on the wall so that we can always keep them and cherish them. So what we're actually doing is we have it on order where we're going to get two banners, just plain banners to go either side of the MJ's logo. And then we're going to start sticking all you guys' amazing stickers around. Um, and hopefully, if you guys wish, and fill enough people gap. send, we'll fill the gap. And if we fill these gaps, we'll go above. And if we fill that gap, we'll fill below. And I think it's going to be an amazing wall. Um, I mean, kind of disproportionate, I suppose. <laughs> but I want to give a shout and pan around and, and really support Firstly, everyone who supported us, Kelly and George, you've been amazing supporters of us, um, and we want to support you guys in, as well. So, guys, check them out. Amazing guys, great collection, uh, and really, really fantastic people. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope that video was a bit brighter than our last one. Um, and thank you again to all the support we've had on that previous video. Continue to show us your support, guys, by hitting that like button and that subscribe button. It helps us out tremendously tells us that you want to keep seeing these videos don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below to just let us know what you think how you're feeling what's going on let's have a chat and until the next video guys which will be soon oh don't forget instagram live um there's a change to this week's one but i'll announce that soon however 7 p.m to 9 p.m if you're on instagram every saturday jump on we'll be live we you know good time chat feed the snakes etc Burma will be this weekend. I'll, I'll put out some announcements for that. And again, guys, thank you so much from me and Jay for all your love and support. And until the next video, we'll see you then. Bye.